can help, or at least point us in the right direction. If you find someone, a brain surgeon, an artificial intelligence programmer, or someone who is an expert in matters of the head, please bring me to them. So, you joined the Institute. I suppose in the end, they always win. Doctor, my, my friend here needs your help. Oh? I'm not a mechanic. What could she possibly want from me? Oh, this doctor can help me? Greetings, doctor. I wish to download my data and core programming into a human brain. You... you want what? Is she serious? Kiri has a lot of pre-war research data, but she can't continue her work as a robot. Why not? There are fundamental limitations in my robotic systems. I have no capacity for the human trait of inspiration. I've never considered anything like you're proposing. It's an interesting problem. The memories wouldn't be hard. We translate those from the brain to computers and back all the time here. It's how the loungers work. Her personality, though, all the extra pieces of robotic program decision-making? A normal organic brain wouldn't know what to do with them. A synth brain, on the other hand, well, it's already somewhere between the two. What do you know about synths? To be clear, it may not work. But some synths have cybernetic enhancements that interface directly with their brains. The Institute must have found an interpreter for raw data. That's my hope, at least. You're not suggesting I... I won't kill a cent. I'm suggesting nothing of the kind. Allow me to explain. I've worked on synths before. Giving them memory wipes so they can live a life free of the Institute. But the procedure isn't always successful. If something goes wrong, it can leave them in a brain-dead state. Living, but with no cognition. I know a caretaker for one of these brain-dead synths. If they're willing, we could try transferring your friend's consciousness into her. I'd like to try. We just need her caretaker's consent. Give me a day to get in contact with them. They're understandably cautious, but I think they'll hear me out. I will stay with the doctor. Assuming all goes well, I want to be ready for the procedure. The caretaker should get back to me soon. She's not one to wait. The caretaker is here. She wants to speak with you. You're the one that wants to use G519's body? I... I just don't have the caps to keep her alive anymore. Life support ain't easy or cheap, you know? I was gonna pull the plug on her. What you're proposing sounds... a little better. Better than letting her rot. What do you think she would want? Damned if I know. It's not like I even knew her before. Hmm. Since G5 has no one else, for what it's worth, you have my consent. Thank you. I know this must be difficult. Yeah. 
I'll leave you to it. Curie, let's begin. Curie, terminate all non-essential operations. Affirmative. All right. Connection complete. I have access to your friend's memories. G5's already been prepped, so this shouldn't take long. Yes, there. <gasps> I... I... my chest... What is happening? Just breathe. It's an autonomic function. Just let your body do what it must. I... I feel... I feel so strange. Listen to me. Can you hear me? What is your name? My designation is Contagions Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer. Or Curie. Is that really you, Curie? Yes. You sound so different with his ears. Good. Very good. Now let's test some cognitive functions. What is one plus two? Three. If I threw a baseball at your head, what would you do? Uh, move. Think of a strong memory. The first that comes to mind. Tell me about it. <sighs> Dr. Burrow was very old. He was the last living scientist in my section of Vault 81. He was on his bed, very weak. He said to me, Curie, you must... And he died before he finished the sentence. Oh, my insights feel peculiar. What is that? You might be feeling grief for a friend. This unit has no friends, but there, my chest is tightening when I think of poor Dr. Burrow. The operation appears successful, but I think it will take a lot of adjustment for your new friend. She may need your help to make the transition. Thank you, Doctor, for this opportunity. Please, let me see and scan as many indigenous life forms as possible. It is, of course, for science. be of assistance. Remember, to breathe. I keep thinking if I forget to do this, no more curry. And suddenly, all this excitement we do, there is an element of something new. What if my arm is blown off? It is not so simple to repair this now. Don't worry, I'll keep you safe. That makes me feel better. Come, I... I will be fine. It is coming to me. Quickly, I hope. Just bear with me. I am sure my research will blossom with this magnificent new hardware. <laughs> 